Well, folks, now we're going to do Crawdad Song in yet another key. Um, this time, instead of just switching up our chord functions and realigning our 1, 4, and 5, we're going to use the magical capo we talked about. Um, so I'll put the capo on the second fret. If you haven't bought a capo yet, you can skip this part of the lesson, but I recommend that you buy one. Clasp that capo on the second fret, and then after we've done that, what we've done is we essentially are fretting all the strings on the second fret. So we've raised the notes up a whole letter in the musical alphabet, these two frets worth of musical distance. And so we have to compensate with our fifth string, which wasn't affected by the capo. We have to tune it up. It's normally tuned to a G note, you remember. Well, since we raise these, these up one note in the musical alphabet, we're going to raise this up as well. So we'll go from a G note to an A note. We can do all the same functions. We can act like we're playing in the key of C with our C, F, and G chord, but we'll actually be in the key of D because remember we moved up the two frets. That moves us up one letter of the musical alphabet. So we just shifted our key from C to D. Nothing really changes for us. We're still going to play our C chord like we normally would. We'll play our all our F chord and G chord just like we normally would. What it really changes is um, the range at which I can sing in that this tune and that's why that's a main reason why people will play songs in various keys is to accommodate the vocal inclinations of or even the limitations of a particular singer so it's good to kind of cycle one song through these various keys so you get a little feel for what this is all about um, so let's go ahead and play just how we did in the key of, of C but now we're technically in the key of D. One, two, three, four. You get a line, I get a pole, honey. You get a line, I get a pole, baby. Honey. 